Good Monday evening, everybody. Come on in. It's time for dinner to be prepared. I am going to be cooking tonight some, um, oh, wow, scallopini. I've already, you know, scallopini is just thin sliced pork is all it is. And I've seasoned it and let it marinate there for a couple of hours. Now I'm going to just batter it a little bit. And it's going to cook up just like a pork chop. And I'll make a sweet and sour sauce uh, to drizzle on top. And I'm going to do some broccoli. And that's going to be it. You know what? Some days it's just like you want something real, real light. And I'm frying this, of course, in olive oil and butter. You know, when you fry in butter, you have to cook it sort of slow. So I'm going to start out slow. Because my butter's already starting to brown. I don't want it to get too brown. So I don't have to use a lot of it. And so my meat going to get burnt. A little burnt. So I hope you all are having a God-blessed Monday. I had a very, 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 very busy weekend. In fact, I had a very, very busy week all week long. Was, I was sticking and moving, and it's amazing how much stuff you can get accomplished without even really thinking about it. And when you think about it, you think, did I do all of that? That's the way I feel. Um, ladies, just let me just let me just give you a little word of caution about doing stuff. I'm going to share this with y'all. So, you know, when you go to the store, you want to get a case of water. Get somebody to pick your water up for you, honey. Don't do like me now. I knew I didn't have no business picking up that case of water, but I picked it up anyway. In fact, without even thinking about it, I picked up, it was like the 40 bottles. It wasn't just the regular 24 bottles, the 40 bottles of water. And I'm here to tell you, not only, well, it messed with my back a little bit, because I learned how to you know, squat and do all that kind of stuff to save your back. But what I didn't think about was when I lifted that water and those 40 bottles, it was quite heavy. I lifted it with leverage so it didn't feel that heavy. But what happened to me when I lifted it, and I was getting ready to, you know, the bottom part of your shopping cart. At Sam's, you know, they had a big old cart, so it's plenty of space on there to put stuff. Boy, I tell you the truth. When I got ready to lunge that water under there, I got off balance. That water got heavy because the leverage was no longer there. My leverage was off. And of course, it pulled me down. Y'all, it pulled me forward. And I fell basically forward into, you know, like on top of the water almost. Slipped off the side and tried to get up. And, and I had on my, my, um, slides that day that my shoes that Warren gave me, my Bottega slides had them on and of course they're like uh, clogs and they flew off my feet. <laughs> uh, when I tell you, I had on, I can't remember if I had on, I, I had on my socks, I had on socks. My socks were so slippery on that floor, floor and I felt like it took me five minutes to get up. So needless to say, I'm sore now. Didn't hurt myself really, except I'm just sore with what I caught on my hand and my arm. So just be careful about thinking of soup warming, trying to pick up stuff. I'm telling you, shoes. I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson about picking up heavy stuff anyway. Yeah, it's like same thing. So anyway, I'm not finally after about three or four minutes, I, get, I was able to get up off the floor. Nobody was on the aisle but me, so didn't nobody see me. So, you, But you know they got it on the camera and on the film at the store. So I thought, I said, oh well. It was like another one, bitch. Just so I got up with my dignity, found my shoes, because so they flew across the floor. Found my shoes and put them on and walked off and was glad nobody tried to come and say, oh man, let me, and nobody, nobody, I want to tell you, as big as families, as big as they are, nobody came to my rescue, nobody saw, nobody, none of the customers, they say, 
saw me fall. But like I said, I'm sure Sam is, is probably on one of those video cameras. But that's all right, too. It better not show up on YouTube, I tell you that. But no, seriously, just be careful when you're out and about like that and picking up heavy stuff. Just get somebody else to do it or get somebody else in your family like I should have done. I should have just waited. I uh, should have got the 24, but you know, it's more economical to buy the big one. Um, okay, we go ready to turn now. Mm. All right, we just gonna. This, this is what we do with these. We just gonna fry them so they get nice and brown. And I'll probably turn them one more time. They're, they're thin, so you don't have to cook them that long, but you do have to cook them enough to get them nice and tender. So I'm gonna just steam some broccoli, and that's pretty much gonna be it. I think I got rice already cooked in the fridge, so. Uh, Y'all go ahead and get your stuff together and we can cook this meal together. I was just noticing just um, even though these are sliced thin, these are nice and meaty pieces. You call this scallopini. Um, there's a dish you can make with this. We're not doing the dish. We just want, we, I just like these little thin ones. Thin, uh, just like, it's the same thing as pork chop. You know it's pork, so you just, it's just nice and thin sliced. You can do a scallopini, um, you know, some, uh, slice up some onions and bell pepper and all that we're not doing that tonight we're just going to do it like this i'm going to make a sweet and sour sauce of some sort and put it on here and have it with the broccoli and maybe if anybody wants rice we can do some rice or some corn or something like that but more than likely it's just going to be the broccoli okay y'all dinner is ready it's served everything is ready to sit down relax and enjoy got that um that scallopini uh style pork sliced fried and ready to dip in that sauce now i'll go ahead and give you my little recipe for the sauce that we got made right here okay that is uh three tablespoons of vinegar whatever kind of vinegar you have uh half a cup of water three tablespoons of brown sugar half a uh, fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper salt if you want to use salt or whatever salt and agent you use um garlic powder onion powder and uh oh and i put a about a half a teaspoon of lifted onion soup, a teaspoon rather of lifted onion soup mix in it and put it in put the water put it in the microwave and boiled it for about three or four minutes and then took it out made me some flour water to put it to thicken it just slightly not thick thick but just let me see if i can get this food and show you the consistency that it needs to be and this is just so it wasn't like a runny it's just a little bit of thickness so it'll stick to your meat you can drizzle it on your meat or rice or however you want to do it either have you want to eat it and of course i got that uh steamed in the bag broccoli and some leftover rice from yesterday so this was one of those quick easy meals 
for a Monday because you know if you after I come off of eating over the weekend really on Monday I want to eat something kind of sort of light but anyway y'all thank y'all for stopping by thank y'all for your prayers your well wishes your comments and your compliments and as always continue to pray without ceasing and do something kind for somebody and get in the kitchen and cook yourself something good to eat again thank you love you and until the next time I come on love you pray without ceasing ceasing y'all toodles